Hey, how's it going? I got a 2006 Pontiac Solstice. Just picked it up a few weeks ago and uh, gonna be doing a couple of videos on it. This is my second one. This is a 2006. It's got all the bells and whistles, um, leather seats, and you know everything. It's 8,000 original miles on it. One owner. Um, everything is factory, 100%. It's got you know same stock wheels and tires that it came out of the factory so uh brand new literally and i'm gonna be doing some modifications and whatnot i'm thinking of doing a turbo build and i'm um, kind of make it match my last one i had a 06 with uh about 400 horsepower and this is going to be hopefully close to that so uh today i'm gonna be doing an oil change so kind of doing a little tutorial on that um, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I use only M's oil for all my vehicles. Um, best oil that proved me for trucks and everything. Um, got the filter here. Gonna be. Do I don't know what the last owner used, but I'll be doing an engine transmission flush on it. Put it in, run it for 15 minutes, pour the oil out. So I'm gonna be using this. 530 signature series so this stuff is the best of the best that's out there it's got like 25,000 miles guaranteed or one year um i've never run a car that far but i have done about 15,000, and the oil still looked pretty golden so this stuff is really good um i am an amsoil dealer and i will include that information into the description below so five quarts um uh, 5w30 is what it takes and I, I got all these extra stuff, to, but um, I use diesel and everything. Anything you guys need, if you're local around here, let me know. I can uh, get you set up. So, um, yep, there you go. Um, filter, also Amsoil. So, uh, let's see here. There you go. It's got all your O-rings. It's got everything. So, I got Amsoil filter just so I can match the oil. That way I know they're both good, good quality stuff. And yeah, let's go from there. All right, first things first, we're gonna check and make sure there's actually oil in here and see how much there is in there. Um, the cap of the engine just pops right off of these. Um, just really easy, just pop it right up, no screws or anything. Dipstick is down here. Pull it out. There you go. It's not empty, it's right in the middle. All right, so when you're uh, when you're filling up the engine oil, uh, make sure you use a funnel or something because the way these are set up, um, it literally spills everywhere, and that's pretty much the first thing I did. Put a towel there just in case it does go anywhere. But if you got a funnel, you could use even better. So uh, I'm gonna use this engine oil flush. Um, works for engine and transmission. Really good, like I said, put it in, 15 minutes in park, don't put it in drive, don't do anything. Put it in park, put it in for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you're ready to dump the oil. After you've done that, put your cap on. Start the car. All right, let it run 10, 15 minutes. And we'll be right back. All right, after that, shut the car off. And do your oil. I already jacked up the front. Uh, use the, the main front piece right there. So uh, locate your bolt, your drain bolt, and we'll go from there. All right, after you've located your drain bolt, which would be right on the bottom of the oil pan, pretty easy to find, um, go ahead and grab a 15 millimeter socket and uh, get it loose and drain the oil. All right guys, check this out. So 
when I bought the car, when I went to meet the person, it had only 23 miles since the last oil change, right? So that was in uh, two years ago. And I used that flush on it just to see. I mean, I figured, you know, it's probably pretty clean. So it's roughly been 150 miles since because I had to drive it back about three and a half hours. And look at that color. And this is barely any miles on the car. So that flush really works and it really takes off everything, all that gunk, all that, you know, stuff inside your engine. It cleans it up really well. So, um, obviously she had her oil changes done at the dealership and they used the regular non-synthetic 3,000 mile oil. The good thing is she only did it twice because it's got 8,000 miles on it. So, I'm going to give it a fresh AMS oil, oil change. And then I'm going to keep making videos on you know different intervals where I check the oil and uh, see how that does versus this regular stuff so I'm, I'm still pretty in shock right now that that's the color that's coming out of it so uh, yeah let's finish draining and let's fill her up All right, by the way the filter goes right there which is right next to the dipstick um, housing looks like this um, it's got a 25 millimeter socket on the end don't forget that part. Man, it's kind of at an odd angle down there, so you got to have extension. So, 8,000 miles on this car. Roughly, I don't know, 100 to 200 miles on this oil change that's been here last. And look at this filter. So, it's all lopsided. All these grooves are like... I'm really wondering if the dealership ever did change the filter. They might have just swapped the oil, or maybe they didn't even do that because of the color that came out. Um, but looking at this filter, that don't look right for 200 miles. So it says uh, 2016 on it. So it's roughly, you know, three years or so. But let's get it changed to this new one. Look how heavy duty this one is. It's got thick compared to these little fins on this one. So let's get it swapped over. Don't forget to uh, change the gasket. It goes right here, this new one. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. Got it out. Looks terrible. I honestly feel like the dealership never even changed it. But whatever. Got a new one right here. Look at that. Quality. Um, don't forget to change this O-ring to a new one. Take a little screwdriver or whatever. Pop it out carefully. Pop a new one in. Get it back in the car. Alright. Pop it back in. Screw it back up nice and tight. And uh, let's get some oil in this thing. Filter back in. Let's get this car lowered and put some oil in it. 